Ready for the next battle. Ladies, gentlemen, and Technicolor Rainbow in between, my name is Frank Graham, and welcome to SWW Blitz, the first ever edition of the craziest, most high-octane hour of wrestling you've ever seen, in case you forgot who I am, because it's been a while, my name is Frank Friggin' Graham, and we are going to have a hell of a show for you here tonight. Oh, I can't wait. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps on my goosebumps. I've got a bunch of other bumps that I should probably see a doctor for, but it's unrelated to this. We've got R.C. Valentin, one of the hottest new prospects here in SWW against the United States Champion, Navon McDonald, in a United States Championship match. The third defense by the champion, Navon McDonald. Can he make history by continuing this winning streak, this defense streak, or will Valentin be the one to finally, finally end Levon's reign? <laughs> this is sure to be an absolute banger of a match. That's what the kids say nowadays, right? But wait a minute, just wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first episode of SWW. Hell yeah! What he said. I like what he said. This crowd excited here. <laughs> oh, I wonder what we're gonna see. I'm wondering. What the hell? Oh my god! What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gents, that's... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your SWW Heavyweight Champion, the Incorruptible Ace Wrestler! <laughs> I mean, no introduction really needed for this man. If you don't know who he is, clearly you've been living under a rock. But, I, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting him to be here. I wasn't expecting... You know, I didn't, I didn't have this in my notes. We didn't have this advertised. Kicking us off on the first episode of SWW Blitz, the World Heavyweight Champion, Ace Whistler. Recently just defended the title against Jack Strider at Into the Void, a hell of a match. On a hell of a show. Probably the best we've ever put out, the best I've ever seen. champion not getting the warmest of receptions here. A hostile environment, no matter the size. The champion does not seem to care. See what he's got to say. I'm excited. <laughs> Good evening. Boundary. And welcome to the first episode of SWW Blitz. I am your world heavyweight champion, the incorruptible Ace Whistler. Now many of you are shocked, and I don't know why. I told you exactly how Into the Void would play out. Jack Strider, as, as hard as he fought, the old dog went to his old tricks and couldn't change. All he did was prove me right. So, with that being said, I now have a gap within my schedule, if you will. So, Mr. Bruno Caldwell and I have developed a perfect way to fill that gap. 
and that is a number one contendership gauntlet match. The winner of this gauntlet match will receive a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity against myself, of course, at high tides. Oh, wow. So the question is, how many people are in this? Well, as a fighting champion, I scoured each and every nook and cranny of the SWW locker room, and I have found six, six people that can push me to my limit. Six? The first one, with all honesty, Jack Strider pushed me to my limit at Into the Void. So, Strider, if you would like to get another shot, I invite you to compete in this gauntlet match. Participant number two, former SWW Starlight Champion Ragnarok. Oh. Hell, the kid's made a great name for himself. I personally have fought him before. That was a long time ago. Participant number three, how about your current SWW United States Champion, the King of the Mountain, Navon McDonald? Let's go. See, Navon, I don't like it when you hurt my friends like you did at Into the Four. How about participant number four? A close personal friend of mine, as of late. That is right. R.C. Valentin. Participant number five. See, that's the one that I kind of kept having to wrap my head around. But then I found the perfect person. See, some people feel he's a big deal. But to me, he's just a, a small fish in an ocean now. And that is you, Angelo. See, I know you hurt your elbow, cracking it over Argus' skull. But please, if you want a chance, all you gotta do is come to this gauntlet match. But participant number six, now that's the one I unfortunately can't say. Because I don't even know who he is. What? See, I've contacted him. I'm just waiting for him to get back. But I think in due time, he will answer the call when it is necessary. So, let's not dwell about the future. Let's enjoy tonight. Tonight is a very special night. It is the first episode of SWW Blitz. And please, have a great time. Bruno sends his regards, so does Luke Bonet. I will be overseeing here tonight. And I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, despite the kind words of, of Ace Whistler, the crowd, still a hostile reception to the world champion. Seemingly more hostile reception to Bruno and Monet. If, if the apparent interference on behalf of the quote unquote Bruno bots or anything to say about it, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe one of them were to get involved in the United States Championship main event. But. Alas, ladies and gentlemen, I get to do something I haven't done for a very, very, very long time. And let's sit behind the booth. Talk about a match! Uh, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Glenelg, Australia. Weighing in at 246 pounds, Sweet Dave Zombie! I swear to God, someone needs to give that kid a raise. He's got pipes like an angel. I've never heard ring announcing like that before. Give that kid a raise. And also give this man some goddamn respect. 
This man was, I mean, if I go back backstage now and I look, I look at a chair. There will be a chair backstage in catering with his name engraved on it, and that is absolutely ridiculous. Sweet Daddy Zombie, absolutely one of the hottest young talents in this company. And it's amazing. I, I've seen his potential. I've seen him in Heart of Battle. I've seen him wrestle all over the world. And we've seen him wrestle on Adrenaline. But here, tonight, he goes against this man. His opponent, accompanied by Damon Grimm, from the colony, weighing in at 228 pounds, Silas Birch! I, I, I do apologize, I was expecting Silas to be out here, but I, I, I wasn't expecting Grimm. Damon Grimm had faced Silas in in a double debut matchup. Not, Silas's in-ring debut is his, his first time having in-ring competition on an episode of SWW Adrenaline was against this, this man right here. It was during that match that, well, after the match, Silas Birch spat something in Damon's face and seemed to have kidnapped him. I'm confused as to what's going on. These two guys seem to be buddy buddy all of a sudden. I, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know what zombie would, would, would make of this. You gotta you gotta question whether or not Damon will be getting involved in this match tonight. The bell is rung and we are underway the first match in Blitz history. Sweet Daddy Zombie and the enigmatic Silas Birch. The collar and elbow tie up. Two bulls locking horns. Pushing each other off again. The lock up. Zombie takes the leg. Spins around. Oh, he's feeling it. Doing a little bit of amateur grappling. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh. The unorthodox offense of Silas Birch just swinging the hands around and then a knife edge chop. Might be asking Zombie to bring it and Zombie's bringing it all right. Ooh, big up kick by the, by the big man. With a back elbow by Silas Birch, drop kick attempt. Zombie swats it away, off the ropes go Zombie. Silas rolls out. Neck breaker attempt blocked. Zombie got so much power contracted in that frame. Muscle out the wazoo, but the knees right into the turnbuckle. And those heavy hands from Silas Birch really coming to effect now. Punch after punch. Boom! Big discus lariat. Oh, that's... You know, personally, Zombie fighting back. Overhand chop blocked. Oh. If I were to describe the offense of Silas Birch with one word, that would be stank. S-T-A-N-K, stank. Because he put some real stank on it. On oh, some real stank on them elbows back in Silas into the corner and chops again. Just chop a mania, running wild here tonight. Silas sending Zombie to the corner, chop again, see what I mean? They kick to the sternum. Two just throwing each other in the corner, trying to trying to gain control. Silas quickly out of the corner. You see the position back on the chops, the chops in the chest. You probably can't see it behind all that hair, but I think the chest of Zombie's turning red. But he's using that big old chest to his advantage. Big shoulder block, a body block almost. That man is a lot of speed, a lot of power, a lot of athleticism. Oh, big hip toss. Elbow from the big man. Feels good to finally call Zombie the big man. He's been up against SWW's resident horses. Good God, a stiff forearm shot. The inside of the forearm there. Good Lord. 
be getting up. Silas waiting for him. He's got a, is that a Tongan death grip? Got a hand around the choke. He's saying something to him. I have no idea what's being said. Let's go with zombies. Zombies down. And an elbow to the lower back. An assault to the lower back like that will eliminate the power game. As I was saying before, Zombie being the big man here tonight. Oh, stepping on the arm. Oh! Well, the ref seems to be throwing at a chair. I think Damon... Damon must have thrown a chair in the ring to try to help... Help Silas. I didn't even notice. Did someone in the truck zoom out on him a little bit? Show us what he's doing? Oh, good God. A, a brain claw. A brain claw. He's digging that thumb into the temple. But Zombie... Zombie... Getting up. Oh, big shots. And another. Breaks the hold. At the hammer lock. Oh, big hammer lock suit slam. All that weight crashing down on the forearm and wrist and fingers. Oh, big little love tap for you. Oh, pop up. Big dragon screw leg whip. Again, Silas after the base. The lower half of Zombie is what he needs to work on. That eliminates so much of the power game. Oh, that's a lot of Zombie's advantage. Over guys either his size or guys smaller than him, he will have a power advantage. Nine times out of ten, and look at that. Just expert, expert joint work. By the enigmatic Silas Birch. He's dragging Zombie into the corner, slamming his head on the turnbuckle. And again! Or that stank! That's another leg. Oh, another dragon screw, and he holds on. Manipulating the knee and the ankle all at once. An Indian deathlock applied. Zombie screaming in pain. You can't really see it because the people in the truck. Chet, what are you doing? Give us another angle. We can't see the action. Oh, but Zombie firing back. You couldn't see it, but you can definitely church it here. Oh, counter by Silas. Oh. Oh, 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 rolls through. Silas might be looking to sneak this win here. Leverage pin, roll up. Zombie kicks out just at 2.9. Silas. Silas might be going a little... Going to the skies here. Oh, diving brain chop. Over the cover. One, two, and a kick out. They like to call him the zombie because this man will not die. As you know, keep the zombie down, you gotta go for the brain. And that's exactly what Silas just did with that vicious stomp to the back of the head. The mean streak of Silas Birch on full display. Oh, big shot. And Zombie firing back. The crowd behind the man. Big Oklahoma stampede. And a cover. One, two, kick out. Damon. Cool common collect. Oh, but wait. He's getting involved now. That little son of anarchy. Oh, my God. A rake to the back. It's a lot of back to rake. Oh, kick again to the knee. What the hell was that? Oh. Big Hilarion! Two! No! Kick out my sweet daddy zombie! Oh god, in the mean streak, as said before, full display, knows no bounds, just stomping a mud hole into that hairy chest. Floating zombie to get up, goes to the leg again, but zombie putting that knee right in the side of the ribs. Another hammer lock. Oh, Silas popping out. Rolls him up. Schoolboy roll up. Two, no kick out. Oh, and the big shoulder block. Sends Silas crashing down to the canvas. Gets him up. Oh, big DDT counter. To the spine buster. Into the cover. 
Dragged him into the middle of the ring. Smart move by Silas, but did it cost him? It may have. May have took too long. Oh, more of that stanky chop. Another one. Bucks underneath. Zombie firing back. Look at the elbows. Elbow after elbow. And he's backing him up. Come on, kid. Oh, puts him in the corner. Sits him down. Zombie looking a little punch drunk, but drives that knee right to the center of the face. And Zombie's feeling it. Zombie's drinking in from the crowd. We're getting a little crunk here on Blitz. Zombie throwing Silas over the top rope. Big forearm shot, short elbow. The hell is Zombie going for? Zombie perched up on the second rope. Oh my god, the deadlift! Sid Silas crashing down to the canvas. The big man hits the cover. Ref gets into position. One, two, no! Kick out. And Damon again getting involved as Silas gets up. Zombie's got to keep his, keep his eyes on the prize here. Silas is stalking. Silas knows. Zombie turns around. Oh! Big back elbow. Zombie. Just an absolute a lifeless carcass. I might have broken his nose. Silas with a little prayer and driving the feet down into the sternum. Right through the chest. Could have broken his ribs too. And that's it. Silas Birch gets the win on Sweet Daddy Zombie here on Blitz. Here is your winner, Silas Birch! Silas soaking in the glory of the victory. Damon, Damon in, in no way not involved in that win. Zombie, oh come on now! The hell is this? You little son of a bitch! Oh, but he's just hammering away on him now. Come on! Someone do something! Silas just soaking it in. You feel proud of yourself? Big zombie up. This feels eerily similar. Eerily familiar. Oh my god, no! Again! Zombie, no! The same mist. Throwing zombie at the ring. That was the same mist administered under Damon Grimmin. Oh my God! Just sling him over the shoulder. Another kidnapping is happening here. Silas might be building up a family of some sort, whether by. By, whether by desire or whether it's their desire or his if he wants you I guess he's gonna get you god I hope zombies okay uh, a great first opening contest to introduce us to the vibe of blitz but here we are yeah push it to the limit Hey, welcome to the Freedom Cobra Dojo, where sign-ups are open. Wait, Richie? I mean? So, uh, Dick, I know class is tomorrow, but, uh, I was talking with a little Tommy boy over here, and, uh, yeah, Tommy, why don't you go on and uh, tell Tig about your idea over here? Every good teacher has a documentary. That's why I think we should have Living Free, a very hard and long documentary. Oh, uh, so it would be like one of those uh, uh, behind the music on like VH1 with like uh, Kiss and Motley Crue. Oh, bro, that would be great for business. I, oh my God, Let, let's start right now. I am. I'm recording now. Wait, is that the is that the camera from my my office? You you you, you didn't you didn't look at them tapes, did you? Look, anyway, uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Master Dick Kickham. 
owner and founder of the Freedom Cobra Dojo, and the originator of the martial arts style, Daquan Dog. So, uh, Richie, uh, uh, I've been here really putting the hours in, really training. I'm taking this Doors Championship Tournament very seriously. Uh, I just, uh, just got one question for you. I'm hoping you got the answer. Uh, who the hell's in this thing? All right, so uh, I prepared for this moment uh, because I had a feeling that this moment would come. So, of course, we beat the OGs. They ain't nothing. You know, Gary, Gary uh, Wentworth and uh, Jacob Gage, they ain't nothing. What oh, yeah, we already beat that the ass. They're done. Hey. Then there's us, the best team in this division, uh, the Freedom Cobra Dojo. Oh, obviously, uh, obviously. Uh, then the there's uh, this team called the Heisman. Are you talking about the... That's them football guys, right? Yeah, I don't even know their names, but I just know they're like football guys. I think they like played like Pop Warner, and they're obsessed with the sport. Ah, well, forget them. I'm sure we'll beat them too next. I it was uh, then there's uh, the catering crew. The remember, what? Uh, is, is that, that, that the zombie was, guy or something that was locked in catering because he said something? Whatever, next. I am kind of hungry. Uh, so then we got uh, the Raven and the Scarab, and they actually might be good, relatively. Wait, we... we what, hold on a minute. We're fighting animals now. You well, would think, but uh, dogs. so you you uh for for the scarab part, you know uh, that like Egyptian sad. luchador guy, like he beat like one of the dudes in that in that revelation oh, thing. Oh yeah, yeah, the flippy little gold bastard. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's the scarab, and then uh, Gary Huntrell. Oh, that's that hunter race guy, the one that looks like the uh, the fucking uh, the fucking the God of War dude, whatever, loser, whatever. Man. Yeah, yeah, he was in the Hunter Age, but he was also in the New Age. God rest his soul. Amen. Uh, then, uh, Vinny Vago and, uh, Cancer. Wait, Vinny? Vinny Vago's in this tournament? Yeah, douchebag, you know, that one dude from the Jersey Shore who, uh, tried to say he was from L.A. for a good bit. You know, came out to the Christian music, New York to L.A., all that bullshit. Yeah, him. I hate Vinny Vago. Wait, didn't he run around with the with the clown guy or something? Yeah, backyard wrestler. Oh, right? Right? You know the the three time it. twisted man of the year looking for his fourth. Uh, the guy who wrestles in George. Wait, right, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's, there's more than one clown. I thought there was the one the, the one clown guy who talks about like yards or, or something. Yeah, he fa he faced Yuri. Wait, who's he, Gary? He, he okay, faced I Yuri. Oh, that's the oh that's that insane posse the clown yeah, guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, what a, what a loser. He like wrestles, wrestles on like trampolines. The <laughs> fuck out of here. I was there. Uh, he then there's uh, the Get Swifty. Who the oh, hell I love is that? Rick and Morty. So, uh, Tyreek Swift. Do you remember him at all? Oh, that's that Heart of Battle show. Yeah. You guys even listening to me? Yeah, and then there was that one dude. I think he was in Gen, you know, Gen Dumb. Uh, Tyler oh, Emerson. Yeah, seems to ring a bell. Don't care. Camera. Seems like a bad team next. Yeah, and uh, to cap it off, uh, Charm City Kings. Uh, they've been everywhere, but here for some reason. Why is this huh. stick though? mean to tell me they've Wait, been why is the everywhere, but nowhere. Yeah, they've won a they've won a bunch of phony titles and stuff. Title. Like okay, well, the they, they, they they don't matter. They, 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 they think uh, as, as the youth say, they think they That's are them. They are not I them. Well, I think uh, I think our chances look pretty good if you ask me. But uh, you know what? I I like this. I like your idea, Tommy. You really mean it, Genius, Mr. Genius, actually. Dick? You know, it's, uh, for once, you've made me proud. Um, so I think it's his me. best idea, I, Master Dick. I, I think we should all go out and celebrate for the delicious meal. Woohoo! How about I take us to the Isle of Garden? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's a better I want to tour of Italy now. Hell yeah, boys. Congratulations. Tours of Italy for everybody. On me. Finally, some real Italian. I heard you get a soup and a salad there, you know. Thinking about it, I kind of want some tomato bisque. I'm getting hungry. Let's all right, go. all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Hold, on. hold your horses, hold your horses. All right. All right, Tommy, camera on me, camera on me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, make sure uh, you call the number here at the dojo, 505-373-0522. Uh, Ask for Master Dick Kick em. That's me, of course. We'll get you set up. 10-step program. You'll be uh, getting all the poon tang in no time. I'll have gotten for everybody. Let's go, guys. I swear, you guys got to warn me about, like, when we're cutting off next time. What do you mean the red light is on? Didn't we fire that, Queef? Oh, the red light, we're, oh, we're, we're, we're live! Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's been a minute. <laughs>
Uh, it's not funny. I might get fired for that. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but hey, here's uh, here's here's uh, here's Moonbeam. <laughs> The following women's match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Spearfish, South Dakota, weighing in at 121 pounds, Moonbeam! Right, so Moonbeam, after her debut, due to her appearance, a lot of people have questioned whether or not she is aligned with Silas Birch. I would vote yes. I feel like all of these boho, you know, the whole boho, like, hippie movement. I feel like that's pretty much like a dead giveaway. <laughs> However, I gotta tell you, excuse my language, but this bitch is crazy. If you've seen her last match on Adrenaline, you will know... Moonbeam is not a nice person. Especially not a nice person to be in the ring. However, neither is she. Lodestar Luminous. Oh, I'm excited for this. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 139 pounds, Lodestar Luminous! Now, the last time we saw Miss Luminous, she was engaged in a rematch with Lilia Baranova on Adrenaline. Those two put on two absolute bangers. They are one apiece. Lodestar looking to get a taste of some new competition in Moonbeam. These two lovely ladies squaring off. The bell rings and Moonbeam right on top of her. Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. See, the bitch is crazy. Off the ropes. Big leg drop, but missed. Lodestar, oh my god, Larry over the top rope. Moonbeam crashing out of the floor. Oh my god! Springboard shooting start of the outside. We're getting crazy. Two crazy bitches. Let's go. Sending Moonbeam into the ring. Excuse me, I need a drink. What do you mean that's too low? Sorry. Sorry, folks. Chet Duff in my ear. Big leg drop. Chet, what do you mean the sipping's too low? Oh, kick at it! Kick at it too! Chad, I, I can't really hear you right now. Chad, I can't hear you. That's not my fault! Jesus! Slamming her head into the ground. Listen, Chad, that's not my fault. I don't do the machines, I don't do the audio levels. If, if this thing is picking up, brother, that's on you. Sorry, everyone, I was talking to Chet Duff in the truck. I love Chet. That's a great guy. Big forearm smash to Lodestar. Oh, and another backflip kick. Good lord. Spin kick. Bang! Big Pele kick. I'll drink to that again. Ah. Oh. oh, that's good back there. Kick out for Moonbeam. I promise it's not it's not alcoholic. I promise. With a showboat, a little bit of pizzazz. And that side headlock. And Moonbeam through the legs. Oh, kicking out the knee. Moonbeam grabbing a hold of Lodestar. Turns her over. Bam! Big reverse DDT. A little extra flavor. A little more flavor. Oh, big neck breaker by Moonbeam. Into the cover she goes. One, two, no! Out. 
by Lodestar. This little lady has a lot of heart. Also a lot of badassery. I don't know if that's a word or not, but it's on display! Big twisting center! Big cover to No! Kick out by Moonbeam. What women's division do you know has this action? Let me ask you that question. Huh? Let me ask you that. You know what? It's hard to find it. Oh, big schoolboy into the rolling kick to the side of the head and the elbow dropped the lower back. Moon being the taller of the two. Gold Star trying to chop down. Oh, speaking of chop chop, throwing a big forearm smack. Jesus, these ladies are as stiff as a board. And a, 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 a seated cobra clutch. Wrenching back on it. Look at the arch in the back. Wish my wife could arch her back like that. Hey oh! Right. That's good stuff. Oh! Big bulldog choke applied by Lodestar. Look at this. She might tap out here. She is struggling. Lodestar gritting her teeth, trying to put much the most pressure on that hold she can. Moonbeam. Elbows to the gut. A third one and she finally escapes. Oh, big clothesline, a running line. Ooh, big kick to the stomach. Roadstar in the powerbomb position, but wait a minute. Fights her way off of it. Ooh, an exchange of blows. Goes for that third chop again, but Roadstar throwing the, the educated feet. He's really putting them educated feet to good use. Back flip kick in the corner. Enziguri. Oh, what's she going for? Hanging on the middle rope. Oh! Jumps to the top rope and hits the elbow. Dropping the big bow. Two. Is that it? No. Lone Star arguing with the ref. She thinks that was three. As long as this match keeps going, I don't care who it was. This is awesome. Star stalking, Moonbeam getting up. Old Star through the middle rope. Big, big face buster with the roll. Two, no. Moonbeam kick it out. I got to tell you, this women's action is an absolute, undeniable piece of evidence that women's wrestling today is absolutely a draw and anyone who tells you otherwise is dead wrong but she might be dead after that basement drop kick to the side of the head is that enough two no kick out by moonbeam resiliency on display by both lovely ladies here tonight springboard attempt but moonbeam rolling out of the way Lodestar crashes down oh dropping the elbow was Reverse DDT, sort of removed. Oh, kick out. I'm sorry, I get so excited tripping up over my own words. Damn it, that's my one job. I can't afford to do that. Seriously, I can't afford to do that. It's bad by me. I'll come for the double stomp. Shades of Silas Birch earlier in the night. Maybe another clue. Another clue with a hint at the relationship between the two. Oh. Oh, slamming Moonbeam's head into the post. A uh, turnbuckle, I'm sorry. Wait, wait a minute, that's Lilia. That's Lilia Baranova. Uh, what is she doing out here? She's causing a distraction for Lodestar. I think Lodestar wants to get in there and settle it now. A chop to the throat by, by Moonbeam. Oh, what the hell was that? Moonbeam covers her too! And that's it! Lilia! Oh, what a curtsy, a bow! And she's out of here! Here is your winner, Moonbeam! I'll tell you what, I don't think Lilia Baranova took kindly to the role of win. That Lone Star 
got over her. I think she might want to settle the score. Both women are, are one apiece, and that can't that, that just can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, I smell the end of a trilogy on our hands. But as excited as I am for the prospect of that, I was far, far more excited for Into the Void. Here's a recap of the night. An absolutely incredible night. On the pre-show, we saw the debut of the Freedom Cobra Dojo against the, the, the original gentlemen, the OGs, where they would pick up the win. An absolute banger of a triple threat for the Starlight title between three of the hottest stars in SWW today. And it would be an absolute barn burner, instant classic matchup that would see Trey Mercer pick up the win on the champion to become the new Starlight Champion. But that is not all. We saw the return of Cody Hale to action to finally settle the score with Sophie. However, due to the interferences, the constant interferences by, by our, by, by the resident simp, Cody Hale suffering an incredible loss, but that's not all. The match between Silvera and Eric DeVille, however, due to a masked assailant who, to avoid spoilers, even though I, I do apologize, I'm giving you a few. We also have the debut of James Frost and the absolute barn burner of a matchup that would see Ace Whistler retain the title against Jack Strider. Just an absolute classic of a pay-per-view. Probably the best we've ever put on. But ladies and gents, this show right here tonight is not over. We still have just a little bit more in the tank for you. Oh. But you thought the advertising was over? No, 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 no. The next adrenaline. James Frost in action. His SWW Adrenaline debut. We saw him compete at Heart of Battle. We saw him and into the void. But now we finally get to see the infinite hero get in the green ring in front of a live and hot crowd. To show what he's got. But that's not all. Lilia Baranova and Perry Demir. Two of the women's divisions hottest new stars I keep saying hottest new stars because there's just no other way to describe they go one on one on the next adrenaline will Lelia Baranova be able to overcome the power of Perry Demir or will Perry finally get a win on adrenaline but that's not all a tag team tournament match of the first round for the duos championship tournament it is the raven mascara versus vigo and cancer vigo obviously stuck his nose a little too far into stare of business yuri just had to get involved but ladies and gents i would like to bring you tonight to the main event of the evening. Right now, coming up next, we have ourselves the main event. The SWW United States Championship match has yet to come. These fans Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, and it's for the SWW United States Championship! Introducing the challenger from North Bergen, New Jersey, weighing in at 267 pounds, R.C. Valentine! R.C. Valentine, the Pinoy Punisher, Whistler's chosen 
bodyguard, his chosen muscle. A man with an undoubtedly large chip on his shoulder. This man, a former new age prospect, was never able to show his stuff. But he showcased it now. He damaged the leg, the knee of Jack Strider to the point where it was a lingering injury with his incredible submission game. A heavyweight with technical mastery, such as, as UFC, former UFC fighters, Frank Mir. I mean, that's a heavyweight that could twist you and turn you into a pretzel. But will it work against this man, the United States Champion? And his opponent, from Newburg, New York, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the king of the Mo match and the current SWW United States Champion, Never! Donald, the king of the mountain, the United States champion, a shysty son of a gun, and the only United States champion to ever successfully defend his title. However, those defenses might have asterisks. So tonight we're going to see whether or not Navan could get a defense to prove that he is worthy of being United States Champion against the vicious and hungry R.C. Valentin. That's a beautiful belt right there. Good God. Look at that. High, the fans here are excited, beyond excited. I think these two men are excited. Hell, I'm excited. I'm very excited. The bell is rung and we are underway. Oh, Devon. Devon picking a, a very defensive approach. Boom! The rough technical style and stomping on the arm already. Working the limbs, working the ligaments. Navon's a striker, he knows that. Working the arm, a smart move, but Navon, oh, quick roll up. Schoolboy, one, two, could he get him? No. Oh, oh, RC showing off that agility. Oh, Navon immediately kicking out. He could not afford to stay in that position for very long. RC O'Connor roll with the bridge. Good God, look at this. And Navon kicking out immediately again. Navon springing back to his feet. Big snapmare into the cover. And Navon immediately gets the shoulder up. These two are just wrestling right now. Oh, Navon reciprocating at the snapmare into the cover. But RC kicking out immediately. These two are just, just wrestling right now. Oh! A big stiff chop from Navon blocked. Again, that arm. I don't wonder if that stomp to the arm already did some damage to it. Oh, off the rope to Navon. Big Lariat takes down the big man. Into the cover goes Navon. One and a kick out. Navon. Oh! Big knee to the side of the head. The temple. Oh, and the, the educated feet landing their landing their mark against the bond and oh big judo throw a headlock toss but Navon's not not broken by that oh big back elbow puts Navon against the ropes oh the elbow strikes and Navon onto the ground oh and working the arm 
Working the shoulder. Bam! Snaps down. Driving the shoulder into the mat. Very smart move. What the hell is this? Oh, a modified STF. Wrenching on it, but Navon quickly powering out, putting that elbow in the side of the head of RC Valentine. Valentine getting up. That might have caught him in the jaw there, but oh, whoa, 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 Navon! Navon! Big submission move, but RC immediately getting out of it. The technical wizardry. Oh! I apologize. That wasn't very technical. That was a man getting punched in the head. Oh, what's this? Oh, standing. A standing leg hold. Similar to a figure four almost. Working the leg, wrenching it upward. Oh, a punch to the lower back. Trips the leg up. RC goes face first into the canvas below. Navon off the ropes. RC catches a bow. Big power slam. Into the cover. One, two, no. Oh, RC going right back into that modified STF. And there it is. He's got it locked in. And he's wrenching on it. Good God. Top of the head into the canvas. And he's wrenching back. Navon might be getting choked and stretched all at the same time. But he manages to pull him off. And those vicious, stiff elbow shots. The side of the head, side of the jaw. And another jaw-jacking punch by Navon McDonald. That's the strike game on display. I think we might be seeing more of it here. The classic 10 punches, too. And no! RC managing to get him off. Oh, my God! RC went for a jumping move of some sort, caught him with a vicious European uppercut, right in the air, and back to the punches in the corner. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, big number ten with a bullet. And Navon feeding off the crowd. The louder that crowd is, the more amped up that man right there gets. The United States champion feeds off the people. Look at him go. Oh, but RC. Oh, big ends of Gurry to the side of the head and Navon crashes down to the canvas. RC might be going down to, oh no. Navon elbow to the sternum. Oh, big chop by Navon. RC, oh, a stiff body blow. Whoa. Oh my God, the incredible agility of the big man. Oh, big senton. Slamming all that body weight on Navon. Is this it? No. Navon gets the shoulder up just in time. RC making him pay with the stiff kicks to the small of the back. RC likes to pick his opponent apart meticulously. Navon fighting back with a knee to the side of the head. What a big classical shot. Navon sending RC into the ropes. Big Larry into the corner. You know Navon loves to throw that line. Navon feeding off the crowd some more. Diving knee drop, but RC gets out of the way and a clubbing blow to the back of the head. RC into a, a, a very familiar sharpshooter, this variation of the sharpshooter, the inverted sharpshooter, a hold that Ace Whistler loves to use. Could be a shout out to the champion or could be proof that Whistler has trained this young man, we don't know. But Navon fighting back the big chop to the chest, meat on meat, flesh colliding with flesh. You can hear it all the way in the rafters if we have Big kicks to the knees, taking out the legs, kick to the, kick to the stomach. Go for a butterfly suplex, Navon, arm drag. Navon showcasing some agility of his own. Oh, big shot sends RC against the rope, but RC flipping Navon to the outside of the ring, and we're going to the outside. We're getting a little involved with the crowd here. RC. 
Back of the neck of Devon sends him spine first into that. Oh, wait a second! Big back suplex on the edge of the barricade. RC showing intelligent brutality of the likes we have never seen. Oh, sends him colliding headfirst into the post. And into the steps now. RC taking his time. Surely he knows. Yep, breaking the count. He knows he cannot get the title by count out. Champion's advantage is in play. RC just taking his time. Oh, just sends him into the ring apron this time. Oh, and into the barricade we go. Oh, draping Levon over the over the barricade and running me to the side of the head. And he's feeding off the booze. RC Valentine, that man thrives off of negativity. That man is bad vibes personified. Oh, RC, is he going for a... Is he going for here? Oh, slingshot shoulder block. The agility of this man for his size is something to be feared by any active competitor on the roster. We have a cover, and it's a kick out by Navon. The champion is holding on to that title for dear life. But RC Common Collected. Oh, might be going for that power bomb, but no. Big <laughs> back body drop on RC. And Navon's feeding off the crowd once more. Oh, the kick to the knee. Oh, but Navon fires a shot. He wants RC to give him some. Those strikes do nothing to him. Oh, big forearm to the head. What's Navon doing? Slingshot. Oh, double wax handle in the back of the head. And Navon's feeling it. Navon is fired up. Oh, Navon. Diving, dodging the attack. Oh, big wide. Larry yet into the cover. One, two, no. The champ less than a second away from attaining the United States Championship. That doesn't bother Navon, though. Navon still remaining positive. Still knows that he could be even closer to getting the W. Oh, but RC going for the power bomb. RC with the power bomb. That big power bomb. In the cover two, is that a no? RC hit him with the most vicious power bomb. The most vicious power bomb not called the Hell's Fury. And RC striking on Navon, but Navon blocking. Navon wants more. A slap to the face and again. Oh, but Navon sends a vicious right his way. And again. Oh, look. a knee to the sternum. A straight shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Navon's getting fired up. Navon! One shot. Two shot. Face red. Face blue shot. That's a good rhyme. Fuck you. Big leg drop. Navon feeling it, feeling invincible. Oh, a big boot folds in my head omelet. Navon is close. Navon is there. He smells a victory. It's a short mile away, but no. RC with the short elbow. Navon dodges, sends a shot back. Block the chop. RC. Big T-bone. Dragging Navon to his feet. And a high angle. Splatter suplex. Chop the ball on his head. 
Is this it? Two, three, no! RC can't believe it. He dropped him on the crown of his head. But it still wasn't enough. The inhuman fighting spirit of Navon McDonald knows no bounds. We're going up top. Could be seeing a little avalanche action. What the hell is going on here? Oh, the arm trap belly to belly on the top rope. RC into the cover. Could become the United States Champion here now. My God. Oh, back. Wait a minute. And a third time going back into that modified STF. He's wrenching on it with all his life. Look at this. RC could be closing in. On his first championship here at SWW, he's not relinquishing the grip. It's tight. It's tight. But Navon fight back. Navon pulls the arm off and the elbows again. RC dazed and confused. Big Lariat! RC is down, but he's getting back up. Navon stalking. Wait! Goes for the Royal Tudor, but RC fights back. Oh, back elbow! Oh, thunderous headbutt, but Navon's back up! And another back elbow! What the hell is it going to take? Good God! Is that man even human? Tosses him. Navon's back up. And again. But Navon up again. And a third time. Navon slower this time. Get back up. Flying Lariat by RT. Into the cover. One, two, three. Down. Oh, RC, the big man going up top. This might be a very bad idea, but if it works, it might be crazy. Oh, a stiff shot to the stardom. A liver shot. RC on his feet. Royal Tudor. One, two, the bond retains. My God. You, you already know. Here is your winner, and still the SWW United States Champion, Nevin McDonald! Finally, finally, Nevin McDonald can honestly say he has successfully defended the United States Championship. No games, no additives, no adulteration that man deserves to hold that belt. The fight that man showed tonight, but to R.C. Valentin, that young man showed everything. Thank you for tuning in.